Was Jay-Z afraid of Lil Wayne? Jay-Z before his battle with Nas was said to be untouchable. He had already crushed Mace, Mob Deep, Mino, and even took time to throw shots at little cats. Such as J.O. Felony, Jazz O, Major Figures and at 50 Cent before he really blew up. After Nas dropped Ether in 2001, Jay had decided to stop engaging in full-bred battles and use the sneak attack method that he's been doing for the past 10 years. Rappers such as 50 Cent, Game, Beanie Ziegle, Jazz O, Joe Budden, DMX Off Wax, and many others have taken shots at Jay-Z. Challenging his manhood, disrespecting his credibility and his woman but Jay felt he was too big to respond to these guys and proceeded to take a jab here and there subliminally but nothing full throttle. But the latest rapper to throw shots at the Jigga Man and may do damage to him is Lil Wayne. For those who don't know, the jabs thrown back and forth between Lil Wayne and Jay-Z go back to 2006 to 2007. Starting with Lil Wayne feeling himself a little bit and disrespecting Jay-Z in an interview claiming that he was now better than Jay and that he would shit in his house if he felt like it. Jay-Z responded on T.I.'s 2007 track titled Watch What You Say where Jay addresses the issue and claims that Wayne is on that stuff to think he can go at him and that his DNA is in Wayne's music. The beef seemed to have died down for a while and been squashed as Jay would make an appearance on Wayne's Carter 3 album on the track Dear Carter which it seems that he had passed the torch to Wayne. The two would go on and do songs together and even would do shows together most notably at Jay-Z's Blueprint 3 tour. Things seemed to be buddy-buddy for a while between the two. But that didn't stop Birdman from taking swipes at Jay-Z whenever he could. If it isn't claiming that Wayne makes more money or even then better rappers. Birdman knew deep inside that Wayne needed this battle to take him to that next level. And what's interesting is that this is the same position Jay was in during his battle with Nas. The battle resurfaces. When Jay got word of Birdman constantly trying to bait him, he proceeded to do what he does best and that's throw a shot at him. And Wayne on the first single for his and Kanye West's Watch the Throne album. This was a perfect time to make people talk and it did just that. The Watch the Throne album would do monster first week numbers, selling close to gold its first week and remaining as one of the highest selling albums of the past two years. Wayne decided to take the disrespect to a next level and respond to Jay on the track I'm Good Off his Carter 4 album. From the sound of this interview, Wayne seems to be ready and set for the battle, first week surprise. Jay-Z made the mistake of being too cocky, just like he did with Nas and acting like he was too good for a full battle. He allowed Wayne to become too big and the Carter 4 first week sales showed a whooping 950k off gate eclipsing Watch the Throne and becoming the biggest selling album of the year at this point. Young Money President Mac Main even took the time to rub it in Jay's face on Twitter, an old head once said. Men lie women lie numbers don't see 4 million to first week. Was Jay-Z possibly afraid of battling Lil Wayne? Going back to the main topic of this page, I believe Jay feels that he has a lot to lose when it comes to really battling Lil Wayne at this point. He can't use the he doesn't sell records cop out because Wayne outsold him, he can't use the he isn't big enough because for better or worse. Wayne has a huge following and he sure can't use the he doesn't have as much money because Wayne and Birdman got money too. His stands have already given him many excuses for backing out of many battles in the past but this is one where he needs to take on because Wayne is considered either his equal or bigger than him. You can't have one rapper claiming the GOAT and another claiming he's the best alive and they don't ever want a battle. The climate seems to be ready for another highly publicized battle considering like 2001 it's been a mediocre year for hip-hop. Wayne and Jay engaging in a full-fledged battle would bring excitement back in a politically correct currently boring rap game but like Pac-Man and Mayweather, We can only assume and wish at this moment.